What's going on, Minecrafters? This is the A-Bomb back with uh, episode three of my Rift in Time series. So uh, what you're looking at here is um, I've been clearing a little flat spot to build my house. And uh, we're going to build that area up down there. And I've still got my little dirty old mud hut there. Oh, God, what's happening? Um, I'll just walk you quickly. I've been doing some stuff off camera here. Um, you can see, uh, got a little bit more going on here. I made a sieve, um, and I've been sifting through some gravel and various things. And I've been, uh, if you look in the quest book, go back. I did a few quests here. So I made a, uh, I made a crook and got some worms and cooked some and ate those. That's one quest. And then you make the sieve and you sift a bunch of stuff. You get a hammer. I'll show you what all this stuff does. And then I've been sifting to get uh, uh, I've been sifting to get iron gravel ore. So what what the crook does is when you um, when you bash regular leaves, it'll give you a higher uh, chance of dropping saplings, apples, and these little silkworms. And then from there, you take your silkworm, and so you you take your silkworm, you you plant a bunch of trees like this. You can plant one tree, but it you know it's quicker if you do a bunch of trees. And then you take the silkworm and you just place it in, and that you can see the the leaves turned into from oak leaves to infested leaves. You can see it's infesting nine, ten, eleven percent. So when it's done infesting, it'll spread to other adjacent leaves, and what you get. Is you get this so you get all of the leaves are all infested and then when you break those leaves you get string and you'll also get a higher uh, rate of silkworm drops so you can bust all those down now the only thing you won't get is uh, you won't get saplings drop from them anymore so the only thing you'll get is string and uh, silkworms. But you can actually cook the silkworms and eat them. Um, as delicious as that sounds. <clears throat> Anyways, so I was doing that to get my string. Let's just... Uh, do I want these? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do that too. Okay, so I did that. That was one quest to get through there. And then I made a hammer. And do I have any cobble of course not why would i have cobblestone let me go get some cobblestone i'll show you the other thing i was doing so the hammer is really easy to make i'll show you quickly the pattern and what it does just grab some cobble i've got a wicked idea for a house but I'm going to have to like get a mine going first and get a whole ton of cobble and trees and stuff. But I'll do all that stuff off camera or, uh, yeah, I'll do it off camera. Be less annoying for you that, uh, that way. Okay. So I got some cobble. Uh, I want my hammer, cobble. Okay. Come up here. So the cool thing about this is, oh, a little bit of lag there. Okay, so if you lay down some cobble and you got a wooden hammer, you, well, any hammer actually, wooden, stone, iron, they all work the same. So as I'm smashing this cobble, it's dropping gravel. Okay, so you're turning cobble into gravel with the hammer and then take your gravel if you lay down gravel and you smash gravel with a hammer, it turns into the sand. You get sand. Uh, switch my stone hammer. If you put sand down, smash sand with a hammer. Did I get that last one? I guess so. Uh, you get dust, which. Um, I think dust and if I remember correctly, um, dust and, and you, you make an oak barrel, okay, and when it rains, 
the oak barrel will fill with rain. And I'm pretty sure if you put, <clears throat> or you can go and get a bucket and you can fill the oak barrel up. But if you have a barrel, an oak barrel full of water, and you put in a block of dust, I'm pretty sure you get clay back out of it. And like the same kind of clay uh, that you can dig up from underwater and stuff, which you need with sand and gravel to make your seared bricks um, for the smeltery for your Tinker's Construct stuff. So the quests, all of the quests sort of lead you in that direction. So right now, the, the part I'm at right now is a, a little bit tedious because, you know, like I'm, I'm, you know, sifting through a whole bunch of gravel to get iron ore and, and all this stuff. Um, anyways, that's what I've been doing. I figured it would be a lot easier to just explain quickly what I've been doing instead of um, <laughs> instead of <clears throat> bringing you along for that exciting ride. Um, so, like I said, I'm doing that. I'm doing a little bit of, uh, what's the term here, terraforming. So I'm taking this, this area here down a couple levels. I'm going to build this up a little bit. And then this area up here is going to be the house. And this area down here is probably going to end up being a garden, I would think. And I might do the entrance to the mine in there or something like that. Um, anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, when I come back, hopefully, uh, Hopefully the house will be built and the mine will be going and uh, I'll be through some of these uh, less, <clears throat> less, less interesting quests here because after you, after you pound out the iron or um, you go and you do, uh, it's like some sand and there's a few others. It's, it's a whole lot of sifting uh, that um, <clears throat> you really, you don't want to watch. Uh, the barrel stuff, I'll, I'll build the barrels and I'll put them down and then I'll do it to get the clay and I'll come back and I'll start recording again to show you some of that stuff and, and where this quest line goes. Oh, this is something that's really interesting. Just, uh, <clears throat> just so you can see, I'm not kidding. When you're sifting, I don't know if I have any gravel. Uh, no, I don't have any gravel on me. Um, as you're sifting, you get all sorts. You don't just get the iron ore. You get these broken silver ore, broken platinum, broken osmium. You get all the ores, but in broken form. And then four of those make up iron ore gravel. And I believe if you, is it if you cook the iron ore gravel? What does that give you? I think if you cook it, it gives you I don't know, nuggets or something. Oh no, oh no, it gives you ingots. Okay, so you can cook the gravel and it gives you ingots. Which, that was really stupid because, um... Did I... Okay, there it is. Damn it, I need that for the quest. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you, so if you cook the iron ore gravel, it'll give you ingots, but I think at a less rate than, than iron ore would. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't, don't quote me on it. Um... Sorry. So the other thing is you don't just get these ores. You get all sorts of stuff. Uh, I've been getting tons of this appetite. Um, I got two diamonds just, just sifting through a, a, a stack of 64 um, gravel. I got all of this. I got two diamonds. I got four appetite. I got some lapis. Uh, what else did I get from that drop? I think that was it. But, um, oh, and tons of flint. Tons of flint, which... Obviously, you need for um, repairing your tools at this point, right? So, the sifting the sifting is really boring, but you can like you will get if you sift enough, you will get a lot of stuff that's really valuable, like diamonds and emeralds and stuff you're gonna need uh, down the road. Stuff that you're gonna need for this quest here: diamonds, gold, and ink and emeralds, which gets you full hearts, which will give you if I go back far enough which will give you extra lives uh, for the hardcore questing mode so it's it's boring but it's definitely something you want to do but I'm like I said I'm gonna do it off camera so uh, I'm gonna pause the video now and I'm gonna go and get some progress made and when I come back hopefully I'll be well on my way to having a home stick around hey uh, everybody um, I was just going down I was working on my my house and uh, leveling out the terrain and getting this area ready for my garden and whoa, 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know you're there, buds. And what is okay? Here's this guy for one. I don't even know what that guy is. And I got this beholder shooting, shooting laser beams at me. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's get our range weapon out here. Anyways, I figured it might be uh, a good idea to hit record. <clears throat> All right, you big ugly one-eyed freak. Oh yeah, I got some range weapons too, son. Oh, yep, go away. What? What? Oh, really? What are you guys doing? I need a bow. That's what I need. Oh man, are you serious? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I really need to go inside. Get inside, like now. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? Paleo salad. So, yeah. So, remember how I was making fun of the paleo salad? Totally take everything back. It is the best food in the world. Okay, let's go back out and beat these guys. Let's leave the door open. Okay. Okay. It's going to be like that, is it? It's going to be like that, is it? What is that? Give me your lungs. Give me your lungs. I just killed you and took your lungs for a light snack. Whoa. It's kind of dark. You, you big, ugly, gross monster. This is a beholder. <clears throat> I hate these guys. They never come down low enough for you to take them on with uh, a sword. So you've got to have something ranged. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? You know what? You big, ugly, gross blob. You snaky-armed looking thing. Just stay over there. What's happening? Yeah, you stay over there. I'll stay over here. Everybody's fine. Where's this other guy? Oh, okay, he took off. Alright. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is for a quest. I built these barrels. And uh, this was, this stone barrel was a quest reward. And I'm, I gotta fill, I was waiting for it to rain, but it's not raining. So I'm gonna go get water and fill them up so that we can make mossy stone out of this stone which is another quest reward and from mossy stone you can actually make uh, i forget what it's called i'll, I'll walk you through but it it, en it ends up with you being able to put auto repair on your tinker's construct tools and uh, i already got auto repair on on my um my pick which i've aptly named steve the destroyer um and auto repair, you, I think there's four levels of auto repair. And um, by the time you hit the fourth level, you essentially will never have to repair your pick again. So it's totally worth the time to um, to put the maxed out level of auto repair on your tools. It's awesome. All right, let's just go down here. Get some water. There's probably all sorts of nasty things waiting to kill me down here too <clears throat> oh yeah this is um so this um this mod pack doesn't have uh infinite water on you know how if you put like three water sources together the fourth one will always be um th they'll always replenish its water source Th this mod pack doesn't have that so um there's ways there's ways to, I think there's like, uh, oh man, I forget what it is. I'll have to look it up. I'll look it up and I'll mention it uh, later on. But there's, um, basically you have to create something that'll collect water because there is no, there is no infinite water. So, um, you know, you put your, you put your rain barrels out and uh, every time it rains, which in the last world I made, the one I was just playing on my own, it actually rained quite frequently where I was. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's biome dependent. I don't really know. But uh, I had like, I don't know, I had like maybe 10 rain barrels and they were always full. 
but uh, in this world for some reason that's not the case so I'm gonna have to fill these barrels up one at a time and um, make some mossy stone uh, anyways I'll be back in a bit okay so uh, welcome back <clears throat> I hit record because I, I started killing this beholder up here and I thought, yeah, yeah, no big deal. Just a beholder. I'll take him out with my scepter. If you look, look, look at my scepter, look at how much is left on it. It was almost full when I started. I realized as I'm blasting away on this guy that he's an azure beholder. Azure or azure beholder. And uh, yeah, ouch. Uh, and he's got, I think, a little bit of health. So I'm just going to run up. I want to see how much health he's actually got. Let's check this out. Ooh, 77 to 240. Okay, so... So let's not get our first death. Nope, no thank you. No thank you, sir. How do we exhaust? Okay. Oh, that was nice aim. Nice aim. Oh, stop. Rapid. Oh, and the scepter's gone. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. I hate these things. God, I hate these things. What do I got? What do I got? 77 health, eh? I hate these things. You can't get them down out of the sky. Or maybe you can. I just don't know how. Um... And he's like hovering right over top of my house. Yeah, you're awesome, Beholder. You're just awesome. These things are so annoying. How do I get that guy? <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I literally can't get to my house. I wonder if there was anything in this chest over here that might help us. Hmm. Beholders. Easily. You know what? I'm going to take that. Easily the most annoying uh, monster in this game. Hands down. Oh, an arrow without a bow. Awesome. Easily the most annoying monster in this game. They just hover up there like big, snaky, tentacled blobs of you know what. You can't get them down. And this guy's got a, quite a bit of health 240 health. It's quite a bit. Uh, oh, is he gone? Did he despawn? Excellent. Excellent. Yep, he's good. Okay, I'll go back to what I was doing when he appeared. So, what I was doing when he appeared was I am in the process of turning cobble into gravel because I'm having the hardest time finding gravel. And I've got my clay, I've got my sand, I just need gravel and I can make my seared bricks. With seared bricks I can get my foundry going for Tinker's Construct. And I've got some copper and what I want to do is I want to make a copper pick head. Um, I want to make a copper pickaxe head and then I can mine, I think, once I level that up, I can mine iron with that, hopefully, because uh, right now I'm using a pick. Uh, I've got Steve the Destroyer, see, Steve the Destroyer, and he's made with flint. So um, even leveled up, a flint pick can't mine iron, so I can't mine iron ore, which is kind of a pain in the, you know what. So I'm going to make myself a smeltery. I'm going to make... Uh, copper pick axe head and then I'm going to upgrade Steve the Destroyer from flint to copper and then hopefully we can keep keep leveling it uh, keep leveling the pick and get it to a level where I can mine copper um, or not copper sorry um, my brain seems to be on on hold here uh, iron iron ore yeah that's what I was looking for so I need 64. I believe I need 64 sand, 64 clay, and 64 gravel, which will make each one of those, like if you put one of each in, I think it makes two uh, grout. And then if you cook the grout, you get seared bricks. And then with seared bricks, you can make I think, seared blocks. 
and then that's what you make all the stuff that you need for your your Tinker's Construct Foundry out of that. I think Foundry is the right word. I think I'm using. I think it's. I think it's a Foundry. Whatever. Works in my brain. Um. Okay. So. 64 sand, 64 gravel, what did I say? 64 clay. Okay, and then I think it's, what is it? Let me check the recipe. Uh oh, okay. Sand, gravel, clay, cool. So sand, clay, and gravel. Yeah, there we go. 28 grout and then let's fire that in there and cook it that'll take a little while so I'll come back um, leave that coal there what do we got what do we got I sort of tried to organize my my chest a little bit here um, things are still a bit of a mess and I started a mine maybe while that's cooking I'll run down I'll show yeah, oh yeah, this is really cool too. This is an extra utilities um, item. It's a trash can, and it's just made with uh, three stone across the top, cobble here, and a chest in the middle. So it's super easy to make, but it's it's awesome because, say I've got something I don't want, uh, like one, well, let's take one piece of dirt here. You just take the dirt, you put it in there, gone, deletes the item. Or, you know, for really quick, you can just just shift click it. And it's gone. So if you, I cleared out my chest. My chests were a bit of a mess. You can see here I got another uh, another diamond or two from sifting and stuff like that. Um, so I tried to sort of organize my chest a little bit here and cleared out some of the, the garbage and the, the well, I mean it's not garbage. It's just stuff stuff I'm not going to use right now, like uh, botania flowers. And I'm not I'm not there yet. So uh, I got my little apple trees here. I'm growing some apples. Um, it didn't rain. I actually went down and, and, uh, got all the, all the water from the river and brought it up and put that in there. And, uh, I actually made, I took some dust. If you break down cobble into gravel with the hammer, with the, the hammer here, if you break down cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, sand into dust, you can take the dust and put it in a full barrel of water and then it'll make a block of clay which then gives you the clay you need to make the seared bricks. But it's not raining. It hasn't rained once since I moved here. So I don't know if that's because I'm in a biome where it doesn't rain much, which I don't actually know enough about. Um, uh, I forget what this, I forget what it's called. I don't know enough about these biomes to know if there's ones that rain less. I, I would imagine there probably is. I mean, there's desert biomes and stuff. So maybe I'm just stupid, and I set up shop in a biome where it doesn't rain much. Um, and if that's the case, dope. Anyways, where's my bucket? I'm going to go get some water. So this is the little stair. I, l I made a little stairway. A uh, little stairway down to the river. Because I was getting, I was getting a little bit tired of uh, <laughs> all the mountain climbing I was doing going back down and up. So, I'm also, uh, oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, there we go. So when you take, obviously when you take water, it leaves, uh, it leaves an empty hole, and those are annoying, so I'm just filling them in with dirt. And I hear a chupacabra, and it's night, so let's not be down by the river. So, so there, that makes it a lot quicker to get down and up. And then I've just been like doing that, just filling up my, oh, another piece of stone. That might be the last one I need actually. Um, let's check. I think I have all the mossy stone I need now. Um, where did it go? Where did my mossy stone go? There it is. Six, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's it. I can cash in that quest now. So I needed... Oh, good. That's the grout. And then, so I got my grout, laying the brick. Now I'll have to make all the parts of my um, my smeltery. Sorry, I was calling it a foundry. Yeah, it's a smeltery. Um, that's that's all. That's in the Tinker's Construct quest line. 
So let's go back to the other one here. Uh, water from the skies, manual submit, got my eight stone. This is going to give me a ball of moss and a reward bag. I've just been picking the one on the left. I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stick with that pattern. All right. Make clay, unfired clay bucket, an unfired clay bucket. Okay. I think, um, I think we can do that. Let's open that loot bag and see what we got first. Basic. Okay. Here goes. Okay, poop in a bag. <laughs> and I just got a ton of glass. You know what? I'm happy about that because once I get my smeltery set up, I can smelt all this glass down and I can make, um, I think it's called clear glass. Clear glass? Or, uh, anyways, I like it because uh, I'm not a huge fan of. Am I going to have to make another chest just for all this glass? Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> whoops. Okay. So. Oh, man. What a mess. Where am I going to put this chest? My little <laughs> my little dirt hole in the wall is filling up kind of quickly here. Um, this is kind of ghetto, but uh, I'm going to do this. Okay, there we go. All right, this is going to be my uh, <laughs> my stained glass chest. Okay. Uh, ball of moss. Right click to throw. This will turn cobblestone to moss stone on impact. Oh, that's awesome. Good. I'll be able to put more uh, more auto repair on my tools. Um, okay. Is that everything? Okay, what was the next quest here? How's this cooking along? 38, okay. So, unfired clay bucket. Let's get our clay. Now, I don't know if I have to make this into a block first, or if I can just do that. Yep. That works. Okay. So, manual submit. Make porcelain to a crucible. Mix clay with bone meal in a crafting table to make porcelain. Porcelain is used to make crucibles and dolls. Okay, let's look up the recipe for a crucible. Um, crucible. Did I spell that right? Yep. Unfired crucible. Crucible. So I guess we're going to make that one first. So that's just porcelain like that and porcelain is made with one clay and one bone meal do i have bones i don't know if i do i haven't read just that first skeleton uh, in episode one that shot me in the face i think that's the only oh it may be time for a little revenge mission you want to shoot me in the face coming back for your bones there buddy make you into porcelain hmm my, da my daughter says, that's intense. She's sitting right beside me. That is intense, Grace. This is an intense kind of series. Uh, okay. Bone meal. Well, there's not much I can do about that right now. So I'll have to wait until I can get some bone meal. And then we'll sort that out. Um, what else is going on here? How's this coming along? Okay. I'll be back when I have my seared brick and I'm ready to make my, uh, my smeltery. See you in a bit. Okay, so just after that last little bit there where we were looking for skeletons to get bone meal, um, I walked outside, and there was literally one right outside the door. So I killed him. I got, took his bone meal, and it only gave me six porcelain clay, and I need seven to make the crucible. So we're going over. We're going to get revenge on that skeleton that shot us in the face, if he's still there. I, I don't know why I would think he's still there. It's probably despawned, but... Hey, we need something to do. Why not? Maybe we'll find something cool along the way. Oh, lag spike. There we go. Uh, here's a dark spot. Let's run through there and see what comes out. Oh, finally! Finally it's raining. Good. 
hopefully my, uh, oh no, I have to be, probably my barrels have despawned, because I'm too far away, watch I get back, it's rained, and my barrels won't be full because they've despawned, I really gotta get some, I really gotta find some flowers and get a blockling too, so we're, we're heading back to our original spawn home there. Um, this is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done either because with the rain comes the darkness and I think monsters. Oh, which is good because we're looking for skeletons, so... Never mind. I kind of want to kill one of these things and see what they drop. I'm going to kill the next one I find. You're the, yeah, you're the lucky candidate. It's actually got quite a bit of health, whatever. They don't really fight back much, do they? What do they drop? Raw Yale meat. Tastes a bit like mutton. Very chewy when raw. Causes dig speed slowdown. Wool. Okay, so I'll have to cook that. Whatever. What else was in this chest that we found that I left behind? I forget. Probably something useless. I'm gonna take this lore book. I don't know what that is. I think it's for Steamcraft. I don't care about music discs. Okay. Alright. Back over here. Is that a named Yale? That can't be right. A golden Yale. Dude. Dude, are you alright? Are you okay? You were just spinning around in circles there, buddy. He's got 80 health. I'm gonna, I wanna kill this thing. Let's kill this thing. That's a lot of health. I think he's hiding something that big. Delicious looking body of yours. So golden yield. Oh, he just drops more wool and a ton of yield meat. Okay, whatever. Um, well, did I leave anything behind in that chest? Am I slow? can't run for some reason. There we go. I forgot about this apple tree. Um, <laughs> a bone! Perfect! That's awesome. That's exactly what I need. Uh, take that lapis now. Moon dirt. Take that. I don't know what this is. This doggy training treat. Doggy charm. I'll get that. Maybe I'll find a dog. I don't know. Command emblem. I'll have to look up that mod. I don't know anything about it. I don't need any. I don't need those tinker books. Spectator. Equipable in the ambulance slot. Press grave to open the baubles menu. I don't know what that does. Okay. Uh, so. With that bone, which gives us the bone meal we need. You know what? I'm I'm gonna uh, <laughs> just because I'm too lazy to run back over there. I'm going to use this as a good time to demonstrate the teleport. So new home teleport, boom, just like that. Not that I would ever condone cheating. Oh, good, these are filling up with water. Whoa, leg spike. Uh, so you see what I mean? As it rains, these barrels will just fill up with water, and then that's really the, um, that's sort of the main way to get water. You just set up a bunch of these barrels and, and just do that. Let's pull up this mossy stone. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, porcelain. Oh, I left my front door open. That's stupid. Uh, put that away. Put all this doggy stuff away. Lore book. Raw Yale meat. Um, some seared brick. Just that grout. Uh, grout, there it is. 
Throw that in there. Um, throw the seared brick in here for now, along with put the wool here. A life drain charge. Uh, okay, so the porcelain was made by putting clay with bone meal. And I only need one more, so I'm not going to waste that. Put that away. And then that crucible was made like that, I believe. Yep, there we go. Unfired crucible. Okay, so crucible. Oh, no. I want a cooked one. Get out of there. I think you just cook it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Give me them goodie bags. Crucible. Go back to cooking grout. Okay, so crucible done. Take our reward bag. Let's see what we get. Oh, I got dust. Oh, I got a bunch of dust with that. Okay, so I can make uh, more clay with that. Um, let's open this loot bag and see what we get here. Where am I gonna put this dust? Just put, just put it in there with that stuff. Though. I really need to get my house built so I can uh, get my my storage organized and get more more storage space. And my sort of my sort of ultimate goal here is get the house up, get the tinker's construct going, and then the next thing I'm going to work for is I'll work the my mine's just down there, so I'm going to get my mine going, and I I really want to work directly like as quickly as possible to get a digital miner because I had one in my last world that I built and it's amazing um, I'll definitely do a little bit on that once I get it up and show how it works and stuff but um, if you're if you don't know about the digital miner and you're playing this game and I forget what uh, what mod is it in Let me look it up digital miner there it is okay yeah, it's a mechanism. It's in me the, the mod mechanism. So if you're playing Minecraft and you have mechanism and you don't have a digital miner, you need to go watch a, a video on it and then start working towards one because it is amazing. It basically takes um, all of the blocks and like a, you can set it for, I think, a radius of 32. And it will just, I mean, it can pull out everything or it can just pull out what you want, like the ore that you, the specific ore that you want. And it can do things like replace it with cobble or whatever you put in there. Um, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing for getting uh, <laughs> for getting uh, what do you call it? Like all your all your ore and stuff. It, it's it's so amazing. It's it's almost like borderline cheating once you've got it. But it's not. And uh, we're gonna work towards that because it's awesome. All right, let's look. Open this reward bag. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Bee stuff. Bee stuff is good. We got a scoop. We'll go get some bees. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm running low on storage space, but we'll definitely put that to good use later on. What are we doing here? We're cooking that. Uh, quest. What's the next quest? So we got that one done. Uh, a lava clay bucket. I haven't actually found any lava yet. And we need... The swarm! Oh, I hate the swarm. I hate the swarm. Damn it. So the swarm, these... You can see them up there. It's like wasp dudes show up. I think when I was playing uh, the Mad Pack... They would actually build these hives in the sky. Oh yeah, we're definitely staying inside. They would build these hives in the sky, and then the hives would stay. So I, I'm really hoping they don't do that in this one. Man, it's raining all over my chest. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to sleep. Maybe they'll be gone when I get up.
Nope. Still there. Are they just not one spot? Oh, they're f oh good. They're fighting the other monsters. Good, good. Keep yourselves busy. Don't let me interrupt you. Let's pick some apples. These guys gonna despawn? How hard are they? Let's kill them. Maybe they drop something cool. What's up, dude? Clay? Oh no, they poison. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. No, 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 Get out of here. Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Uh, okay, okay, no, 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 stop that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that was dub. And a little more adventures than I should have been, probably. Just get some of that health back. <laughs> so here I am once again in this mod pack stuck inside my dirt hole with monsters outside my door that want to kill me yeah yeah that's rifted time for you stuck in a dirt hole Is this, am I being too impatient here this is dumb should I open this door and whack him in the face no, there's like two out there. That's that's just stupidity. Uh, I guess we'll keep cooking. I guess we'll keep cooking uh, seared brick. Why not? Oh, I'm too impatient. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, I can see that. I can see my first death coming. It's coming. Seriously? Seriously? Are they, are they fighting? Dude, are you okay? Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's like a million on top of my house. <laughs> okay. I think I can easily say this is my new least favorite event. The Swarm. Just despawn. Throw this muscle out. I don't want that. What is that? V Vezwax. Burn time 300. Whoa, that's awesome. So burn time. Oh, okay. Burn time and coal is way more than that. That's cool though. I've never encountered that before. Vezwax. Lycanite's jungle mobs. Okay. Um, and again, I'm out of space. Okay. Put those berries in there. Glowstone, clay. Okay, we clay down here. Yep. Okay. Let's see if those wasps are still out there. Oh. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Man, these guys are so fast, they're hard to hit. Oh, I know what I've got. Got my paleo salad. Bam! Cheat mode engaged. Oh, you stupid wasps. Let's take care of this little infestation here. Oh yeah, yeah. you decided you could sneak up behind me, eh? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. That sound is so annoying. Okay. I hear another one. Nope. All gone? Nope. Oh, you think so, eh? Are you drinking my water? Drinking my water without asking. Not cool, man. 
Okay. Well, that nightmare's over. Thank God. The swarm. Jot that one down in my my little notebook of things I despise. The swarm. Okay. Good. Back to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Grace, you're in that notebook too. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not sure how uh, how long this is going to be when I add it all up, but uh, I think I'm going to cut it short there, and um, I'll do some more work off camera, and I'll uh, get some mining done. Maybe I'll maybe by the time I come back in episode four, we'll have the house built. That would be nice, and then uh, I can get out of my little mud hole in the ground, get my um, get some some storage sorted out, and um, Maybe, maybe even make a plan for the next episode instead of just running around like an idiot. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. See you again.